In this video, we will present the solution to question number 13 from the practice exam number three for math 2270. We're given a matrix A, which in this case is two by two. It's negative five, eight, negative four, seven. We are given eigenpairs for A. That is, this is an eigenvalue with a corresponding eigenvector. Here's another eigenvalue with its corresponding eigenvector. So we see that A times the vector two, one gives you negative one times two, one. And A times the vector one, one gives you three times one, one. So we have these eigenpairs. And we're asked to compute a diagonalization of A, which means we need to find the factorization of A, where A equals P D P inverse, where P is a non-singular matrix, so that P inverse makes sense, and D is a diagonal matrix. So how, we do, how do we compute this diagonalization? Well, the things to remember here is that D is going to be a diagonal matrix, right? Its size will be the same as A, so it'll be a two by two diagonal matrix. The numbers along the diagonal are going to be the eigenvalues of A, which we see the eigenvalues are negative one and three. So the diagonal matrix D will be negative one and three. You can switch the order if you want to, but it doesn't matter. Just, just, just put the diagonals along, uh, put the eigenvalues along the diagonal. I'll just take the same order that they were presented to us. Then the matrix P is going to coincide with an eigenbasis of the corresponding eigenvalues. So since we know that 2, 1 is an eigenvalue, eigenvector for the eigenvalue negative 1, the first column of P is going to be 2 and 1. The second column I'm going to take to be 1, 1, because 1, 1 is the eigenvector associated to the eigenvalue 3. Now, like I said, it didn't matter which order you did D here. You could do, you could, you could do whatever order you want. Just make sure that these these column vectors are in the same order uh, so that you always have a an eigenpair. So the first column should make an eigenpair. The second column should make an eigenpair. If we have a three by three matrix, then the third column should make an eigenpair. Go on from there. Now to find P inverse, this is honestly the hardest part of the problem here. To find P inverse, we need to compute uh, the inverse of P for which you can do the inversion algorithm for which if we take P augment the identity here, you're going to row reduce that you would get the identity augment P inverse. So you can row reduce that to, to find the P inverse that might be necessary if this matrix is kind of big, like three by three, four by four or bigger. Um, as this is a two by two matrix, I'm going to use the formula that P inverse is going to equal one over the determinant of P, right? Which the determinant of P, I'm going to take that to be uh, you're going to take the diagonals minus the diagonals there. So you get, whoops, two minus one. So the determinant is going to turn out to be one. And then you get the adjective right here for which, remember, you're going to swap the locations of the diagonal entry. So you get a one and a two. Uh, and then the off diagonal entries, you're just going to negate them. So you get negative one, negative one. And so since the determinant turned out to be negative one, we see that P inverse is going to be one, negative one, negative one, negative one and two. For which... It, I would encourage you to double check your answer if you can. P, P inverse, right? You can always check it. At, at the very least, put it into your calculator, right? Uh, one, negative one, negative one, and two right here. Which you notice if you take the first row, first column, you're going to get two minus one, which is one. First row times the second column, you'll get negative two plus two, which is zero. Second row, first column, you get one minus one, which is zero. Second row, second column, you get negative one plus two, which is one. So that is, in fact, the identity, like so. Um, when you're doing this question, you can't simply just throw in the matrix into your graphing calculator to compute the inverse matrix. I do need to see the steps uh, of computing the inverse matrix for full credit. Then we see that the matrix A will equal P, D, P inverse. Give them as the factorization, write it out. We get two, one, one, one. We're going to get, so we get P first, then the diagonal, negative one, zero, zero, and three. And then we get P inverse which turned out to be one, negative one, negative one, and two, like so. And so here gives us the diagonalization of the matrix. This was a two by two case, but doing three by three, four by four would not be much more difficult because on this question, you will definitely be given all of the eigenpairs you need. You'll be given an eigenbasis with the corresponding eigenvalues, from which case then you build the diagonalization. Computing the inverse of P is going to be the hardest step there.